Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter Financial Management MCQs. I'm Sianu Jalota. We are on a mission to be conquering every possible MCQ with a logic. The chapter that we all have selected today is called as Capital Structure. This is that chapter that teaches you that what should be the ideal capital structure. How much should be the mix of debt, equity and so on. Let's see the question for today. Just before we start, on every Saturday, Sunday for costing, we are coming out with our complete lectures. These are lectures that are accompanied by complete colored book summary of every question, ranking of every question. Everything, whatever is needed is going to be over here. So ensure that you don't miss and spread a word among the students who still have to be appearing for CA Inter costing. So therefore, nobody in India pays anything for such logics and such concepts and such concepts. Let's start it off for today. Consider the below mentioned statements. A company is considered to be overcapitalized when its actual capitalization is lower than proper cap capitalization as warranted by the earning capacity. Both Overcapitalization and undercapitalization are detrimental to the interest of the society. State true or false. Okay. So, first one is true, second is also true. Okay. Second one, false and true. Third one, false and second is also false. Okay. The fourth one, first is true, second is false. Now, if I have to be answering that, the first thing that you will have to be knowing, what do you mean by undercapitalization? What do you mean by overcapitalization? Now, <clears throat> in case you know the answer, this is a time to be commenting. Else I will be starting. So, let's start it off. Now, see, what do you mean by overcapitalization? Now, consider that there is a company which did a IPO. Okay, and brought in say 1000 crores of capital. Okay, but out of say 1000 crores, it could only use 600 crores for his business. The rest is just lying like that. This is overcapitalization. Overcapitalization out of 1000 crores, you are only using 600 crores. Okay, rest is uh, nothing but idle capital. In such kind of cases, you will always see that return on capital employed is going to be far less. Why? Because lot amount of capital is idle. So overcapitalization means it's an economic term that describes that a situation where company has more capital than it needs or when the value of company's capital is greater than the value of its assets. So your assets are having say x value but then the capital that you all have are say 1.5x so therefore rest 0.5x is not deployed anywhere okay so therefore it is useless for you basically okay. Now, a common kind of a sign of overcapitalization is that you will have lot huge amount of cash balances and uh, apart from that one thing your return on capital employed return on equity is going to be far 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 less. Okay. Uh, let's also try to be studying what do you mean by undercapitalization and then we shall come over to the question back. Okay. Undercapitalization means you have lesser amount of capital even to run the business. Okay. Now, for a small example that you all have a business, okay, but then to run the business, you require capital might be say more amount of fixed assets, you require more amount of working capital, but we do not have it, we do not have enough capital, okay. So therefore, that is nothing but undercapitalization. In terms of say proper words, undercapitalization is when company does not have enough capital to run its business operations, okay, pay creditors or invest in growth. Now, example, business is not running well, okay, if business is not running well, then in that case, you are not generating enough amount of income or capital from, from your current business and more funds are not available to us, okay, I'll continue, this can happen when a company can't generate enough cash flow or access financing. So, to run the business, okay, we require more money, we do not have enough sources to get more funds, neither the business is generating enough profits, so therefore, even our retain earnings that is kind of a capital for us is not there with us. Please do remember that undercapitalization and overcapitalization both are very bad for any company. Okay. There should always be proper utilization of capital. So if I'll come back to the question, consider the below mentioned statements first. 
a company is considered to be over capitalized uh, over capitalized when its actual capitalization is lower than proper capitalization as warranted by the earning capacity this statement is false why because over capitalization means company's actual capital is higher than the capitalization as warranted by the earning capacity we are earning lesser amount okay of income from our current capital we have more capital say that we raised 1000 crores but we are only using 600 crores to run the business so we are only earning on 600 crores rest 400 crores is idle so therefore uh, over capitalization is that when actual capital is higher than the proper capitalization so first statement is false if first is false so a and d cannot be correct let's try to be seeing the second one both over capitalization and under capitalization are detrimental to the interest of the society of course yes because in case of over capitalization you are using funds of the society but you are not uh, earning any return on them for them okay so therefore like you know society is expecting a certain return but you are not getting that return for them okay so over capitalization is 100% bad but under capitalization is also bad you are not generating enough funds from the business okay so therefore your business is not running properly it is not giving you that much amount of return plus whatever funds you require those funds like you know for the growth of the business are not accessible to you okay you require say you need to upgrade your plant and machinery but you do not have proper channels to be getting extra money for that extra plant and machinery okay so even second is uh, so second is true so both under and over capitalization are detrimental to the interest of the society so first is false second one is true so answer should be b over here that should be the correct answer yeah that is the correct answer that's it from my side for today till the time i catch you up next time study enjoy your studies very important that you do not get tense just because you are doing CA. Read newspapers every day that will ensure that 20 or 30 marks you are directly getting. Because even if you have basic amount of sense, whatever is happening across the world, lot amount of things become easier. I'll see you all next time with another question. Bye.